Aloha and welcome to Rose Yoga, Tapping into Heart Courage. I'm Varushka, I'm the Healing Arts Coach and Emotional Freedom Technique Practitioner, and today we are going to ta be tapping on resistance, resistance to upgrading. So what does that mean, upgrading? Um, things have been pretty crazy. I think the energies in our world today no one knows what to expect, what to anticipate. I don't think any astrologer um, was able to predict the, the results of our last election, and I think everyone was equally stunned. And um, I follow astrology just to make sense of what is going on, because my ups and downs and energy levels, there's... I'm completely healthy and there's no way to explain the ways that we're feeling and the resistance we're meeting and old ways are not working. And um, if you're watching this right now, you've probably already heard that we're needing to find new ways of being, new ways of doing things, new ways of connecting, new ways of operating. And yet we only know what we have known. So it's really confusing and it's really scary and we have to weave through a lot of unpleasant feelings and meet this resistance because we're hanging on for dear life to what we know just to remain safe and comfortable. So um, we will be tapping on trying to find some of this resistance in our field. And um, basically, we are going to be tapping on acupressure points, a series of them. So you just repeat after me, I hope I leave enough space so that you can uh, have the time to really feel what we're saying, connect with it, and then repeat it. And please, if you can, try and find a place where you can do this verbally and out loud because it does make all the difference. We don't really get to affirm some of our feelings or call on some of the bullshit and really just state it clearly. So um, just fair warning, there might be some yoga cussing involved, you know, we we're swearing internally sometimes, just like um, Tony Robbins likes to drop his little F-bombs. It's just a cathartic moment where we get to just lay it out, you know, take it into the trash just by naming it. So um, really, please don't get caught up on the sequence of tapping. We are changing our minds and our body and rewiring a nervous system just by taking this moment and time out to address our thoughts, our psyche, and hone in into our heart courage. And you know, why I call this Rose Yoga is really aligning back to your heart, having the courage to align with our hearts. That's the yoga part, the union part. Is This is the only way out right now is through our hearts and really honoring what we're feeling. And it takes a little bit of work to um, clear out the cobwebs in our hearts or open the fortress that we've built over time. So that is my intention, that we just open up a little bit the, the chambers of our hearts so we can access it more, intuit it more, and make our decisions from that place. So uh, let's get started. Um, I'm going to go ahead and tap right here on the karate chop point as our um, anchoring setup statement. So here we go. Repeat after me. Even though I have this resistance to upgrading my life, I love and accept myself anyway. Even though I have this resistance to upgrading and up-leveling, I don't know what that means. All my alarms are going off. I totally love and forgive myself deeply and profoundly. And one more time. This resistance to change. I'm so sorry. Life is so full of surprises. I don't know if I can take it anymore. Another change. I'm giving myself the compassion I need and I fully love and appreciate myself with or without this resistance. 
take a deep breath. <sighs> and lean into what you're feeling. You know, you can always pause this video and if anything strikes up a memory, you know, sit with it, say it, and just keep tapping. It doesn't really matter where you tap. We're just creating this percussive ry rhythm to basically throw a wrench in our normal works of how we're wired. This fear, this fear of change. Part of me doesn't even know who I am right now. So afraid of another death. This fear, it's beyond my control. This fear of upgrading, I love and forgive myself deeply and profoundly. Take a deep breath. So I usually start burping when this is, uh, when I'm on the right track and affecting us all. And tap under the armpit. I'm so afraid to show myself fully. I don't really know who my true self is. And part of me is so tired of the social standards and the social norms. What if I am ready to take off? I'm open to that. Take a deep breath. <sighs> tap on your tummy. I like to just tap all around with all of my fingertips. This is the area where we carry a lot of panic, anxiety, fear, grief. So you may not find this in traditional um, EFT, but I really, really think it's important to access this area that we like to kind of protect. Even though I'm so terrified of so many things right now, the future is uncertain. Even the astrologers say things are getting weirder we're facing the abyss, the abyss. What does that even mean? Say it, what does that even mean? Take a deep breath. <sighs> Feel any butterflies just leaning into that deep, deep, dark unknown. This fear, I have a right to feel it. Life is scary right now. I'm not certain, and I'm not safe. I'm not sure it's safe to be me. Take a deep breath. <sighs> Top of the head. Giving myself the courage I need right now to allow myself to face the unknown. Who will I be without this fear? Upgrading, up leveling. It sounds good to me. Becoming my true self. So much resistance. I want to just curl up in bed every night. I want to watch Netflix. I want to have my same comfort levels. I just want to check out. It's easier. What's the point? Under the armpit. I forgive myself right now for feeling so afraid of the unknown and that things are beyond my control. Take a deep breath. We're going to do some intentional energy work together. So we're going to tap back on our tummy. And let's say, I delete this fear minus infinity. And take a deep breath. And now we're going to shoot our hand down toward the earth and exhale. Imagine all the energy signature of fear that's showing up in your life that you're holding from generations all of your ancestral genetic trash, shoot this down and out like Bruce Lee, 
through the palms of your hand, like a Jedi master, through your sacrum, through the soles of your feet, just imagining it all jetting out from your throat, shooting it out to the ground and from your genitals. So whatever way works for you, visualize this leaving your body, this energy signature of fear. I'm actively doing it on my behalf and on behalf of the collective. And just imagine the earth just sucking it right up. It just grounds it down. It doesn't favor negative energy or positive energy. It just composts it immediately, so don't feel bad about it. Shooting the fear down and up. We're hardwired with it, but it doesn't serve us in moving forward. So push it, push it, and actively holding my palms toward the earth and imagine um, things from your gut flowing down your legs, out through the soles of your feet into the earth. Freeing up your torso, freeing up your heart space, freeing up your solar plexus. Think about all the fear that you might feel about changing. Think about all the fear um, that you've taken on from your parents, you've taken on from society from the social norms and what we're supposed to fear and what our political climate means and what our job security means. Whatever is up for you, how you connect to that fear of what's going on and going to the next level, whatever that means in your story. Shoot that fear down and up. Good. And if you're yawning right now, that's really good. If you're burping right now, you're doing a great job. So just keep shooting it out. Your Yoda, your Bruce Lee, whoever you connect to, like a laser, you're shooting out that old fear. It's ready to go. All intentionality. Good. Tap on the tummy and say, I am resolving this fear now. It's safe for me to feel this fear and transform it into trust. Personal trust. I'm choosing to trust myself and trust my heart. Good, top of the head. I'm strong to this fear now. What if I can totally handle being me? Me upgrading, I can do this. Me upgrading, I'm ready for this. But I'm so afraid I'm not strong enough. I'm not sure I have the stamina to up level. What will I have to face then? i rather curl up and crawl in a hole. I love and accept myself with or without these fears. Take a deep breath. <sighs> Under the armpit, this fear of exhaustion. I'm already so exhausted. In the tummy. So tired of being myself. The part of me is ready for the new self. Part of me is so curious. What if this fear and resistance is just fear of excitement of the new and the unknown? What if it's safe for me to adventure out to trying something different, changing up my routine, making new choices? Who would I be then? I'm open to that. Take a deep breath. So let's get rid of some stagnation. Stagnation that a lot of exhaustion, giving up energy and um, just pulling away from things that are good for us. All those things that have kind of petered out in our nervous system. Let's give that a little jog. 
So again, all around your tummy, your pelvis, your hips, your inner thighs. You know, that's a lot of like root chakra energy. I am life and death. So this is a good area just to tap where it's even more taboo, just to get some energy move, moving. I delete this exhaustion of being me minus infinity. I delete that. And shoot it out. Maybe this will make you yawn. Shoot out all of the elements that, that contribute to the tiredness, the ways of thinking, the old routines, just the dreadful day-to-day -day things that just make you feel comatose. Let's just shoot out all that tired and dreary energy right now. Shoot it down your legs into the earth, making your nervous system um, go into action, start pumping new energy through. Imagine like a figure eight coming through your, your body right now and just moving that all out, doing a clean sweep and just let it shoot out into the earth. Even this, all the things which you're tired to speak or explain anymore, shoot it down in it. Remember, the genitals, the, your sacrum, imagine all the thoughts, shooting it down and out your spine, out through your sacrum, into the earth. We need to free up our spine, we need to get more flexible, we need to be able to access, open up little nooks and crannies of possibilities, things that are already within us, that's, that are ready for us to be seen and known and revealed to ourselves. So let's just shake up that gray matter of just giving up energy, reluctancy, exhaustion, fatigue, stress, shoot it down and out. The stress of being me, say that. I delete the stress of being me minus infinity. Tap on your tummy, good. Even though I might stay exhausted and tired till the day I die, part of me is open to resolving this old exhaustion now. I'm strong to the stress in my life. I'm old enough and wise enough to handle it now. I let myself go easy on myself. Take a deep breath. <sighs> Top of the head. I want to upgrade, but I don't know how. I'm afraid it's going to be too much work. I'm afraid of who I might become. Does that mean I'll be an egomaniac? Does that mean I'll abandon my values? Does that mean I'll lose my friends and family? Does that mean I have to leave my home? I'm so paranoid to truly change. What does that mean? Need the armpit. So much confusion. I am so sorry. I want you to tap. Sorry about my bracelet. Tap on your solar plexus and close your eyes. Let's just connect with your inner child. Do some Ho'oponopono. I always like going here because that one that has all these fears and is so insecure and unsafe is the child. So close your eyes, just tap on your solar plexus and say your name and I love you. I love you. I'm so sorry I'm afraid of another change. Please forgive me that I'm so resistant and stubborn. Thank you for being so strong up until now. I'm ready to take care of you. I'm ready to nurture you in new ways. I'm ready to play. I'm ready to connect. Good. Take a deep breath. 
let's just talk here again and say, I'm safe to release this resistance now. I'm safe to release this resistance now. I'm safe to release this resistance now. I am safe now. Letting it go, releasing all remaining resistance to discovering all of my superpowers. I'm ready to supercharge my vitality. I'm ready for premier brain function. It's safe for me to listen to and open my heart. I totally love and respect myself for that. So I like to um, put my fingertips together. This is a way of anchoring in and hardwiring in our new little upgrade. So just look through the center of it to the floor and this anchors it in and let's just say out loud a few times I respect my future self I respect my future self I am safe being my future self I am safe being my future self I am safe being my future self I am respect I am respect. And so it is, and so it is, and so it is. Thank you, thank you, thank you. And when I say thank you, I like to invite you to thank your higher self, thank your inner child, and thank the great mystery and our Mother Earth for hosting this divine comedy that we all signed up for to play a part. So acknowledge all of these aspects in yourself. And thank you so much for joining me. And see you next week. Check out other ways of um, working with me or doing some more personal development work under the show more link here. And big aloha from Hawaii, and I hope you got some new insights today.